Hello YouTube, Eric's Projects here. A little different project for tonight. Uh, back working on the Razor. Working on a Razor 570. This is a 2016 model LE EPS. Uh, engine braking, power steering, all that good stuff. But uh, that's actually not the one we're going to be working on. I just picked up a 2012 uh, Razor 570. Uh, base model, no power steering, no engine braking, no turf mode, no nothing. But this project is, I've got a family of six with four kids. We just picked up this one so my wife could drive and I could drive. Uh, my wife is obviously going to drive the 2016. She likes that one so much better. So I'll be driving the 2012. But it's still, we're talking about putting a bench seat in one of them and then not in the other because our oldest son doesn't really go with us anymore. But forget that. I'm turning this 2012 into a four-seater. It's going to be like a four-seater 800. They never made a 570 four-seater. It's got about the same power as the 800. And this will be the first of many uh, projects on this 570. So here we go with a 2012 570 two-seater and going to convert it into a four-seater. I've already got the floor pan out of this thing. Um, I've never done this before, but it seems pretty basic. I plan on taking and cutting the frame here in front of this cross member and cutting this outer frame here. That'll allow the gas tank and the seats and everything to move back. I'm going to stretch this 30 inches or 29 and a half inches. That way it's exactly the uh, 106 and a half inches wheelbase as a regular S4 uh, 1000, S4 900, whatever it may be. So this will be the factory wheelbase, that way the factory drive shaft will match up, the factory brake lines will match up, the factory throttle cable will match up, the factory everything should match up because it's all factory length. So I'm going to cut the coolant lines and I'm just going to extend those with some like rubber hose, like some, you know, some heater hose or something, and then cut the frame there and there. Uh, I'm going to take, and this frame is one inch wide by two and a half inches tall with eighth inch wall. So the inside of there, I can take three quarter inch square tubing and I'm going to put three pieces on top of each other and I'm going to sleeve the entire length of the frame and that way it's super strong because it'll have three pieces of three quarter inside of it uh, that'll turn it into a quarter inch wall on the sides and the top plus some, you know, the, the laterals going down the middle and that is going to super strengthen the frame and as well as allow me to extend this thing 29 and a half inches. So this is going to be a great project. It's going to be a fun project. Uh, I've picked up uh, some pieces that I don't know if they're going to work or not. Um, I've got a, over here, I've got a front seat mount, the whole front seat mount bracket out of a Razor 900 four-seater because my current front seat is going to be the now back seat. Um, I, oh, I've also got a drive shaft out of a 900 uh, four seater and I bought the rear floor pan out of an 800 four seater because being the 570 is the same as the 800 all the way back to where the engine uh, welds onto the frame so everything from behind the seats forward is 800 so I'm really hoping this 800 floor pan fits in there I don't know for sure yet but I'm just kind of uh, randomly guessing here I also bought a factory cage out of a 1000 i don't know if that's going to fit or not either it's just this is all experimental what i can tell you is on the 1000 this would be the c pillar there in the back and this would be the b pillar but the c pillar is exactly the same measurements as the b pillar on the two seater so i'm really hoping all this will work together follow along and we'll figure this thing out i don't know if it's going to work or not uh at you know if it, if all this goes down the tubes i can at least i'll put it all back together and make it back a two-seater and no problem at all but i think this is going to work out pretty darn easy 
like I said, we replace the drive shaft, extend the coolant lines, extend the frame here and here. These all these front seats will now be the back seats. They'll have the bars on them, and I have the new front seat mounts that are going to go in there. And voila, we're going to make a four seater five seventy.